So today, guys, I'm joined with Vinka. I'm your host, Paul Nibohala, with Bongo 5. And Vinka, I'm so glad you came. Super, super excited. Your song, Chips and Ketchup, is doing well. So what brings you to Dar es Salaam? Well, uh, first of all, I came to Dar es Salaam to look around, to see the place. It's beautiful. It has very nice beaches and all that. Importantly, but of course, in the meantime, I have to do some interviews, a few interviews, and here I am. I'm so glad to be here. How's your experience so far in Dar es Salaam? I love the place. It's hot though, mm -hmm. during the day and cold at night, but it's amazing. I love the atmosphere. Yeah. Um, so your song, uh, Chips and Ketchup, so far, how can you compare them with other songs that it's, it's hitting, I've seen it's hitting, and also your latest one, I'm not sure of the name, it's kind of hard to pronounce. <laughs> yeah, right, it's just come out like so, some hours ago, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, you're updated. Well, Chips and Ketchup is one song, English, Luganda, Kiswahili, yeah? so it's one song that can easily relate uh, with anyone else outside Uganda because of that English pattern, it's easy. Anybody can sing to it, a young kid, a very old woman, the youth. So I love this song. It's amazing. I, I love the fact that it's speaking to very many people all over the world. Yeah. And my very new single, it's called Omkwano Guo. Yeah. Omkwano. Okay. Uh, <laughs> in, 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 uh, it means your love. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So most of your songs, I've seen that they're mo not like Swahili as most of the Ugandan artists. Um, did you think that in terms of marketing your songs, you um, should shift like to be, make it like a bit of Kiswahili so that it can grow both in East Africa and in Africa? Yes. Uh, speaking Kiswahili, first of all, is very easy for me to connect with the rest of East Africans. Yeah. It's because we study Kiswahili too in Uganda. So I felt like this is something that's going to spread my wings all over East Africa and it's working. I thank God for that. Now, uh, in terms of music, what are you looking forward to here in Dar es Salaam? Dar es Salaam, I want to do a few songs with some of Dar es Salaam's amazing artists, yeah. And I hope that comes to life. I'll be very excited. Um, who is uh, the artist that you usually listen to back in Uganda that's in Tanzania? There are very many. Very many. Your favorites? My, f <laughs> they're all nice. They're all nice. But I, I know, I know several artists from here. Diamond, Ben Paul. I, kn I know several. Who are you dying to have a collab with? Dying? Mm -hmm. I won't mention. Let me give you a surprise. Come on, just a little bit. No, 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 no. Let me give you a surprise. But something is coming. Yeah, for East Africa. In Uganda, it's very tight. You know, there are very many artists. And the artists are also talented. So you really have to keep working hard. You really need to be on your toes. It's, it's very tight in Uganda. I don't know if it's the same in Tanzania, but for us, the, the competition is tight. Like, <laughs> tight. Yeah. <laughs> How can I market myself? Yeah. Well, uh, I think first of all, sing along, sing along verses or sing along choruses are easy, easier. S say like for chips and ketchup, a a a a, ani na 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 na, a a a a. So it's easy for anyone to sing along, Ugandan, Russian, American. I feel like it's easy for anyone else to sing along. So no matter the language, I feel like something that is very simple. Like the kwanga, you get yeah. kwanga, like you yeah. know anybody else can sing along. I think that's the art behind all that. I think basically a few Kiswahili words to me. I think and English, of course, English Kiswahili, and and like I said, the little catchy lines. It could be Luganda, it could be a different language, but as long as the line is catchy, trust me somebody will sing along regardless speaking of catchy lines i've noticed in your videos more of some african vibe which is kind of good but speak about your your fashion and what you really really love to do especially when you're um doing your videos what's the type of style type of style i'm very versatile i should say i, I try and everything if you look at my very first video level it's it's a lot more different gangster and all that i'm wearing the baggy jeans if you look at chips and ketchup video it's a bit old school i love fashion so i can do anything i could try anything for fashion yeah
Well, like I said, working hard. I'm going to work hard and I promise to do more music and more catchy songs that will relate to people down here, Tanzania and East Africa, yeah? So for me to be bigger than them, those two artists are really, they're really big, I should say, yeah? <laughs> for me to be bigger than them and maybe stay longer, a lot of hard work, yeah. Hey, everyone watching Bongo 5, me naitwa Vinka. Najua Kiswahili kidogo kidogo, but I love to learn a few more words in Kiswahili. Well, in the next five years, I want to be global. I want to be able to do music, whether in my language or Kiswahili or English, and I want anybody else all over the world to follow me on social media instagram it's vinka official facebook it's vinka and then twitter i am vinka don't forget to subscribe to swangs avenue channel to watch all my videos i love you so much now penda sana give me ketchup my benzilla gossips in a ketchup give me ketchup yo tanzania now penda sana keep it locked here